Osmundstad. I'm from North Dakota. It's very Norwegian. Actually, good transition. Um, so <laughs> I'm from a place called Devil's Lake, North Dakota. It's, it's not actually that happening, but thank you for your enthusiasm. <laughs> um, and my mother is from Adams, North Dakota. Oh my God, less enthusiasm. It's like a hamlet. And so my mother has lived in small town North Dakota for her entire life. And my siblings and I always make fun of her for saying ridiculous things. So in Devil's Lake, North Dakota, sometimes it's so cold out that you can't go outside. So we're driving home one day and my sister's like, mom, do you think I'm gonna be go able to go to the barn and feed the cats today? Wherever you are, Zach. And my mom says, well, the snow is pretty white. And we're like, what? What is that? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks mom. Okay, <laughs> so over Christmas break, my mom and I are sitting eating uh, uh, fried grilled turkey sandwiches, which is relevant. And my mom turns to me and says, so Britt, have you ever like stopped at a gas station to get a hot dog? And I'm like, what? <laughs> No, mom, I haven't. Do you just sit and think about hot dogs? And she's like, Britt, why would you ask me such a question? And I'm like, mom, you just asked me a question about hot dogs. And she was like, well, we're sitting here eating this turkey and I was just thinking of my favorite sandwiches. So my mom says ridiculous. Like, I don't know what that means either, you guys. Like, I have no idea. So, so that's some background on my mother. She's a, she's a character. My dad really had a catch with that woman. And so, <laughs> I mean it, I love her. Anyway, but so my parents are incredibly conservative. Devil's Lake, North Dakota, continuous theme. And so I came to Concordia and like the liberalization began and it was great. And so I come home and my little brother thinks it's okay to use the word queer in front of me. And I'm like, that's gotta end. Um, <laughs> So I'm watching So You Think You Can Dance with my dad. <laughs> and he's like, I bet that guy's queer. And I'm like, father, honestly, like this has got to end. And he's like, Britt, I don't know why you care so much about the gay rights stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, sorry dad, like stop this. And so now he intentionally presses my buttons leading into the theory, um, the story, the lesbian theory. So, my mother thinks that I'm a lesbian, and <laughs> I'm not. Um, and if, uh, if you ask my friends um, things about me, they'll like, name three things about Brit. One, she talks with her hands. Two, she's straight. Three, she's, she's a music snob, like I don't know. But like, if you know me, woman who gave me birth, you know that I'm straight. But my mom also responds to, the snow is pretty white, if you asked how cold it is. So, <laughs> so this is the story of how my mother um, thinks I'm a lesbian. One, I freak out when my parents say things like queer and use other terrible language. And I'm just like, this has got to end. And I fight back at them and they don't get this because they're like so combative. Then I just like fight right back and they're totally not used to it. Thanks Concordia, thanks people, whatever. Um, so my mother thinks that gay is like contagious. So she doesn't actually, but like a little bit of her, right? right? <laughs> The snow is pretty white, gay is contagious. So, so my mom, because I have all gay friends, literally, Britt, how are you ever going to meet a boy if all of your friends are gay? Mom, how am I ever gonna, like, what? This is not a priority, I'm like 21. Um, so one, because it's contagious and all my friends are gay, I'm gay. So that puts them like 30% like Britt's a lesbian. Two. Number two, some would call me a serial monogamous. Actually, some have called me. This is false, so like, let me get to the end before you judge me. Um, they would call me a serial monogamist with a Catholic fetish. No, no, no. Wait for the end of it. So I've <laughs> dated, I dated a boy all through high school, four years, Catholic. Dated a boy all through college, four years, Catholic. And now I'm like, not doing that. Um, but so... <laughs> But I'm also not dating women, mother. But so too, because I continually end long-term relationships with very nice boys, I'm a lesbian. 
And three, I just came back from studying abroad in Washington, D.C., not abroad. And, <laughs> and so I just came back from studying abroad. And my mom was like, so you think you'll go back to D.C.? And I say, yeah, that sounds great as long as I don't work where I worked because it sucked my soul every day, guys. Like, they also thought the queer word was OK. And I'm like, you work in the Senate. And they're like, I don't care. <laughs> and. Anyway, so my mom's like, do you think you're gonna move back to DC? And I'm like, yeah, hopefully, like, I need a job. They have loads of them. Hi, I need a job. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, so, and my mom's like, where do you think you'd live? And I was like, oh, well, my friend Erica and I talked about moving in together. And she says, oh, I saw some photos of her on your Facebook. She looks like a nice girl. And I say, yeah, I could move into a two bedroom with three people to lower the rent. It could be me, Erica, and her girlfriend, and I swear to God, my mother fell onto the couch behind her. <laughs> so, one, I like fraternize with gay people. I am gay. Two, I break up with long-term relationships continuously. I am gay. Three, I'm now going to be living with a lesbian. And Kareen told my little sister that she couldn't sleep that night. <laughs> so, my mother, the woman who gave me life, thinks that I am a lesbian. She doesn't actually, but like in her brain where she says the snow is pretty white, like back there in the subconscious, my mother does think this. So now occasionally I like to play into it. Britt, how is that nice boy? I don't know, mom. I'm not that interested. 